Greetings, Terrans. Uh, this is Branthar here again as DCO Basemaster on YouTube. And here uh, we are with my main again, Branthar, and we are in gloomy South Gotham. And as you can tell, another incident has occurred, and some bottle ships have uh, dropped. Well, we have uh, exclusive access to this bottle shop, this, <laughs> this bottle. So why don't we pop the pop the top off the bottle and go inside. And here we are inside a uh, bottle ship down. As you can see, we've gone through the service entrance. As you can see, there's lots of elements kind of splayed everywhere as this is a, a crash site. However, some of the systems are still working. As you can see, we're being watched, and we're being watched, and we're being watched. So uh, this bottle ship is partially functional. As you can see, uh, there have been a number of speed force ruptures and have actually broken into uh, some of the levels of the ship. Uh, after all, he does manage the multiverse. So you can see the areas are kind of cramped. There's lots of water flowing everywhere, lots of speed force energy everywhere. As you can see, the carbonite doors have uh, fused uh, because of the energy and plasma from the speed force that they are holding at least in that area of the ship. So you notice some of the exobyte uh, uh, tracking displays, touch screens, and stations are still operational. So you can see there's another rupture here with some Xamron crystals, some of which clearly need someone to cleanse the corruption. Should we take our daily? I'm going to accept it. We will accept their love. So this um, uh, Xamron stuff is really, really interesting. Uh, I was going to make a base with it. Um, you can try, but it hurt my eyes. Uh, it's just way, way, way too strong <laughs> and bright of an item uh, to have right in your face. Uh, we'll check this out a little bit later. As we find our way through, Celtic items have dropped as well. Lots of different items all over the place. If you imagine the bottom of a bottle smashing uh, with a number of marbles in it, and each one of those marbles containing an element of the universe, or rather its own universe, so when it smashes they all kind of come out. As you can see here, there's there's another portal here. This is a portal to Batman. And these are all of the um, uh, exobyte uh, tracking terminals and stations, etc. Uh, uh, tables that, um, uh, that are tracking all of this information inside of the bottle ship. And if you look over here, there's no judgment on uh, what gets opened up. Uh, by the Speed Force, by the Multiverse, or by the Xamarons. So, thank you for saying hello, Cersei. Yes, 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 we know you're far too, far too powerful for us. Uh, for people of the voice actor uh, uh, lore, I, if Cersei had a last name, uh, her last name would come first because uh, that would be the importance of her family name. Uh, take, for instance, Laren Rowan Ro Laren. <laughs> When I first heard her voice, I laughed. I thought, oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> uh, and as you see here, there's lots more new Genesis stuff. I thought we might take a moment and just talk about the, uh, uh, the Third World Wall conduits. Um, they really are a great addition to a base. And if you can see here, um, they really do um, create a very stark visual um, aspect to anywhere. 
Um, this was done just to see how much they would glow, uh, and they do glow. <laughs> you can't get away from that. <laughs> as much as the energy armor feet. Something about glow. Anyway, we're down in the bottom here. And as you can see, there's lots of lots more Xamaron crystals. Uh, uh, we're down in the basement, basically, of the ship, if that ship had a basement. I guess a bottle has a bottom. That is what most people usually try to get to when they go out drinking, is the bottom of the bottle. <laughs> and over here in the very bottom of the basement, you can see that there's a... Owen console uh, controlling the uh, multiversal hologram. And there is another uh, portal uh, being guarded by our SM master here. Uh, SM masters are number one. <laughs> and then over here we have a sort of final area where everything has kind of been broken down. Uh, if you notice, the Stonewall Cascade works really well with the, uh, the, th the uh, throne of uh, Trigon, Trigon's throne. Um, it's quite interesting because it, it takes on a different quality. It's much more of a thatched item when you put it with natural items rather than actually looking like, you know, crushed bones and stuff like that. So I thought for the final room, what we would do is we would do a bit of a back trace and we're going to go all the way back up. Um, uh, some of the uh, some some of the back uh, track back trace areas are actually more interesting looking than the, than the way in. So sometimes uh, when you're doing base design, it's interesting. The ideas you can come up with can kind of flip on you when you go back through them and go, oh, that's so much better. Lots of speeds for stuff. Uh, this is all from the anniversary um, as our um, lava tubes and other things. Um, all of these, ex all of this exobyte tracking stuff comes in the anniversary in January as well. Uh, some of it, like these column and digitizers up here um, uh, that we were all put in when he attacked, <laughs> uh, those you can actually get from, uh, I think it's DLC 2, it's this bottle ship stuff. Uh, you can actually walk into it. Uh, the South Gotham Cart Courthouse, I believe you can walk to. And, uh, and the duos as well. So if you need those items, you can farm them from there. This is one of the areas I was talking about where the first walkthrough I thought was really quite interesting. But on the way back, it just looks kind of so much more visually stunning. And as we make our back, as we make our way back through here, uh, we're going through some matty antimatter. And this is our final room uh, uh, at the top of the bottle ship with a crash where everything just kind of split apart and happened. So you have multiple realities happening here, multiple doorways, Kryptonian consoles trying to manage the mess. Uh, here we have a portal to another world. Not a very nice one. Everyone's very mean. And over here we have our teleporter. And over here we have another opening to, uh, I believe this is the Metro, yeah, this is Metropolis uh, Police Department. Um, uh, these uh, uh, loading screens uh, came out for survival mode this year, 2022. Uh, that would be season three. Um, uh, the small ones cost seven, the large ones cost uh, large, uh, the seven ones cost, uh, f uh, the large ones cost 14. Wow, that was a bit of a stroke there for me. And then if you notice, uh, the uh, universe has opened up and all of his bottle ships, um, um, all of his other bottle ships are continuing to fall through. Uh, so look out for falling debris. Uh, this room was actually one of the most fun to create. You have a really good sense of, of space in here. Um, and you kind of get into the nitty gritty 
and uh, there's really quite a lot of things that you can do. Um, I chose the Brainiac base. The, um, the uh, Atlantean base is also a really good base with a lot of um, different kind of slow color variations uh, that are kind of muted along the walls that allowed you that allow you to place a lot of things of similar color and have them blend in. If you notice there were certain areas of base where I just left the ground there because uh, it, it, it looks quite cool on its own. Anyway, uh, thank you guys very much for visiting. Uh, this is Bottle Ship Down, and uh, enjoy your eternity and your multiverse, and uh, we will see you next time. Bye-bye now.